So this makes no sense to me. Cairo is being held responsible to do household chores at his parents' house, even though he doesn't live there. Yes. So I know this might be a bit, I might get some flack for this, but over the weekend, I'm kind of tired of going to visit my parents. And, you know, I'm 23 years old now. You know, I'm an adult. I live on my own. And I go over and visit my parents from time to time just to see them. They're not too far away. Plus, they have a house. I have a studio apartment. It's nice to get Bitey out, and he, uh, she can run around and get some exercise. But every Bitey's time I go, cat. FYI, Bitey's a cat. Bitey is my <laughs> cat. Um, but every time I go over there, I'm not treated like I'm a guest. I'm treated mm. like, oh, like the grass needs mowed. <laughs> and now during the summer, I mean, I'm going there every week, and there was a like a month ago, I didn't go for a week. Gra- I come back, grass hadn't been mowed. It was mm-hmm. a huge mess and everything. Like they are actually counting on me to do certain chores in the house, and I don't even live there. All right, let, let me ask this question too. One eight five five Bird Show. Um, are they paying for anything in your life right now? I mean, when I go there, I eat my fair share of food. Okay, but but, but it's not like but they not eat, any bills, right? No bills or anything like that. No, no, no bills. So it's just kind of established when you go over to their house that you're going to help out even though you don't live there. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm I'm just showing up and I mean, I even had to pay for gas for the mower uh, this past weekend because we didn't have any gas at the gas can. So I was like, well, uh, I need gas to mow the lawn. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, I'm, I'm out $20. And so I'm like, I'm actually paying to mow the grass here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm guessing their thought is like, We helped you out a lot up until you're 23 years old. The least you can do when you come over here is help us out with the lawn or a couple of things around the house, right? Is that is that their attitude about it? I mean, yes, but it's it's not like they you know paid for my school because I didn't really go to college and stuff like that. So did they feed you ass when you were at home before college or put clothes on your on your back? I mean, I ate. I ate well. (laughs) (laughs) Kristen. All right, so if you're tired of being tasked to do chores when you go over to visit your, your parents, when all you want to do is visit your parents, and I think helping out every now and then is a, is a smart and kind thing to do, you need to put a rate card together. <laughs> so you need to have a card of like the different tasks they typically have you do. So like, how much would it cost you to mow the lawn? Or how much would it cost you to do each activity? So when they ask you to do it, be like, here's my rate card. And so they can decide if they want to pay you to do it or not. This while is you, appalling. You're at it. This no, is no, 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 no. It's brilliant. While you're at it, make nah. a writer. Like, you need to have a bowl of only green M&Ms in the house and just crap like that. Where's my green room? Appalling. No. You can't have a rate card and then go in there and eat their food, though. You got to, like, it's one or the other, Cairo. If you're going to do that, you can't You can't eat their food. Well, why don't they charge you, prorate you for everything they spent on you <laughs> up until when you you moved out of the house, which was when? No, man. That was their, hey, that was their mm-hmm. choice to have a kid. You yeah. got to take responsibility for what you chose to do. <laughs> yeah. And so I will say, up. my my parents point out that me moving out of the house was one of the best things that ever happened to them. So <laughs> if anything, they should be paying me because I moved out at a young age. Cassie, our social media director. So I found in my experience, just because you've moved out of the house doesn't mean your parents stop seeing you as a child and have started seeing you as a separate independent adult. And it took quite a few years, like even after college, I would still go home and be expected to do chores. And I didn't see them as chores at that point. I was like, I'm, I'm home. I'm going to do the dishwasher. It's not a problem. But that mentality still existed. So it might just be like you need to have a conversation with your parents. They might just be assuming that you're going to keep doing the yard. And it hasn't occurred to them that you have actually really moved out and you are your own adult now and they can no longer rely on you to do these chores so you might have to point it out and maybe help them get set up with a yard service or something like that and why just clear. can't the dude just go over there every now and then and do the damn chores for his parents it'd be because one thing if they asked if they were like hey yeah. we could really if you could mm-hmm. come over and mow the lawn but instead yeah. now it's just expected like they're purposefully not mowing the lawn and when he shows up they're expecting him to do it it would be nice to be asked. Oh, God. Yep. Or be no- at least get the man some gas. I mean, <laughs> yeah. come on, Davi. 
Well, it's like they have the expectation, like when he comes over, he's not just going to get that normal parent guilt trip where it's like, we never see you anymore. Now it's like, look at the lawn. Where have you been? Why did you let it get like this? Like, that's the kind of stuff, like Cassie said, you shift from being a kid to an adult. They start seeing you slightly as an adult. So they still want to ground you and condescend to you. But at the same time, they're calling you, help me figure out my computer. I can't get the Googles to work. And I'm like, I don't know. Figure it out, Linda. Remember when I asked you how to spell rendezvous when I was in seventh grade and you said look it up in the dictionary how the hell am i supposed to look it up in the dictionary if i can't spell it <laughs> nina good morning you're part of the bird show hey um i'm gonna give my opinion but i'm from a different culture so why not why not to help even if they're not still paying for you for anything i see it as um i don't want to say the word duty but it's a simple thing, and it's not going to cost you anything to do. Agreed. Now, um, Nina, you know that I can hear an accent, and within 30 oh, seconds oh of hearing that accent, oh, okay. I can tell you exactly where you're from, right? Good luck. Okay, good luck. Yes. You are from Ukraine. <gasps> no. Somewhere near there? <laughs> <laughs> it's not far, actually. You're where? Yeah, no, I'm, way off. no, I'm from Palestine slash Jordan. So yes. I'm Arab, not Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, not no. even close. I no. got, no, I got nothing. Ukraine. I'll take Ukraine. That's fine. If it makes you happy, I'll take it. I like how she humored you for a second. She went, <gasps> no. I, no. no. <laughs> Just raise my expectation. So she's saying from um, in her homeland, Jordan or Ukraine, that that's how the kids handle it. They have more respect for their parents. They shouldn't have to be asked. You just do it because it's the right thing to do for your hey. parents. Respect goes both ways. Yep. I'm all about helping out your parents. When we go home and there is stuff to do, we we do it because we care. These are people you love. These are people who raised you. Um, granted, all families are different, so maybe there's not any love there and you don't want to do anything. That's fine, too. <laughs> but here's the thing. It's like... Um, I kind of feel like Kyra's being taken advantage of here. And, like, his, it's, not, it's no longer quality. Like, he's moved out. He goes home to what? To see and hang out with his parents. But instead, they're putting him outside to mow the lawn. So if they asked for help, it's one thing. But just to take advantage of him when he's coming over for visits is different. <laughs> Cassie. And it's not like it's costing him nothing. He's literally paying for gas for the mower. And at yep. that point, it's a weird expectation. It's not like he's going over there being like, oh, I see some edges that need like weed whacked. And he does it. No, he has to do everything. They are totally uh, taking advantage. I'm Cassie. Cassie. We do not trust that man to hold a weed whacker, right? That's not happening. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I'm good with a weed whacker. No, I'm not allowed not. to have one either, Cairo. It's okay. <laughs> I'm good. I've touched it a couple times, and I've learned. It's the Burt Show.